frequency cuts through the night air, sharp and unmistakable. Thirty thousand spines detach from their resting state. The skin twitches as the nervous system folds with cortisol. He has become a mobile fortress of calcified pain. The siege begins. He digs with claws designed for excavation, not warfare. But in the drought, the smell of food is a signal flare. The canine does not hunt for sport. It hunts to silence the pain in its gut. It sees the rodent and miscalculates the difficulty setting. The porcupine does not run. Her running burns precious oxygen. A living radar dish of spikes. To bite is to be blinded. The caloric reward is not worth the cost of a punctured lung. Nature is an economist, and this transaction is too expensive. Victory is temporary. The night is just beginning to breathe. The honey badger does not stalk. It invades. It possesses a pathology that ignores the concept of fear. This antagonist treats pain as mere sensory background noise. Here, it only triggers the attack reflex. He engages the tactical brain, calculating the vector of the charge. The microscopic barbs engage with the flesh instantly. The irritation outweighs the hunger. spent ammunition that will take weeks to regrow.
He is winning the battles, but losing the war of attrition. The chemical fire of combat fades from the blood. The camera focuses here on the damage accumulator, the gaps revealing the surprisingly tender and exposed skin beneath the sharp quills. Nature does not allow time for convalescence. The isolation is not peaceful. It is a tactical disadvantage. It is an inevitability. Two colossal shapes materialize from the gloom. The lion's walk is slow, deliberate, and heavy. They own the timeline. It is a suicidal acceleration directly into the jaws of death. The quills do not just prick. They penetrate deep into the sinus cavity. The kinetic energy turns the predator's weight against him. Six-inch barbs detach, anchoring into the sensitive nerve cluster. He does not know that septicemia is now ticking in his blood. He has bought another sunrise with the currency of his own body. Survival is not glory, it is merely postponing the end. In the brutal calculus of the wild, size is often mistaken for power. The hunter's aggression became the very mechanism of its own defeat. It forces us to ask a single question in a world built on violence. Is the ultimate weapon a sharp tooth or an unbreakable shield?